Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1145, which is listed as a hard level where we have 50 moves to clear out 42 jelly. Yikes. Okay, so we've got four layer thick frosting, licorice locked chocolate, these licorice twirls, plus more licorice twirls set to come down, plus sticking time bombs set to come down, plus keys set to come down. So where, oh, there are my sugar chests right up there. All right. We've got a lot that needs to be done. Right now the chocolate can't get to us, but eventually it will be able to. So I'm going to try to make some nice preparations for that event. All right, more space means more opportunity to make more matches and specials. So let's clear things out. Of course, I would love to set this off with a special. I don't know that I'll be able to. I have the feeling I'm going to be locked into making a move that either has to do with the fact that I have no other moves or I'm running low because <laughs> I'm trapped by these ticking time bombs. Uh, this one's getting very scary. Okay, so I take out all red from the board, concentrating the colors down. That gives me the opportunity to do this. And now I've got a stripe draft combo. So I can take out a lot of this chocolate, or at least the licorice around the chocolate. Uh, whether or not I can take out the chocolate is going to depend on that cascading, and that worked out okay. Um, I can take out more licorice locks. The chocolate has the opportunity to grow, but I can try to stem that tide and collect things and get a few cleanup processes done. So now I've got to get this so I can open up everything else, but I'm liking this opportunity with fewer ticking time bombs on the board to clean things out. Hmm. I don't think I can get an orange here, but I'm going to try. No, that didn't work out. All right, let's open this up, see what we can do. Send things off, clear things out with the ticking time bombs. Ooh, I can do this. Let's get rid of those low set bombs. Hmm. I think I can get a stripe trapped combo to take out the rest of the licorice locks here. All right, so that worked out well. Oh, look at this. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to put that into good use. Uh, nice explosive color bomb matched with a wrapped candy is very helpful on a board like this. So now I only have 18 moves left, and the ticking time bombs are set at 12. That looks pretty good to me. Plus, I'm making all of these nice specials here to help. Uh, some of these are double thick, so I'm preparing for kind of a second onslaught here. I've got another set here, but I've got these um, licorice that get in the way. I never know what to expect. I can take this out. I've got three more. One, two, three. I could just do this, or I could do this. Doesn't hit well through the licorice, so let's take, yeah, the licorice, so let's take the licorice out. I've got room. There we go. Okay, so that's how I beat this level, and it was my first playthrough, and I think the reason this is listed as a hard level is for those of us who ignore the ticking time bombs and don't deal well with taking those out. You have to really stay on top of it, or it will do you in. Uh, remember that you can use a lolly hammer and hit those so that they don't make you explode. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.